Hello, we are Parlor Noir. And you're watching the Sunday Sessions Project. Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Sunday Sessions Project. Tonight we have with us the band Parlor Noir. So I'm going to go around and you guys introduce yourself starting down here. Hey, I'm Adam. Marco. Paul. Zach. Dave. And Dave's been here before. We remember him. So uh, thank you guys for coming out to play with us tonight. Uh, so your songs. Uh, let's start off with the first one, Nothing Good. Give me a little background. So uh, I, in jazz, there are love songs and loathing songs, and I wanted to write the mother of all loathing songs. So uh, it's Nothing Good Can Come From This. Uh, that's the story. Nothing good can come from this I know that it's true Ever since our first kiss I feel myself falling for you And there's nothing good can come from this The words we speak whenever we meet We used to be so close People tell me that everything happens for a reason I don't believe them, things fell apart Deep within my heart Now at the end, I don't know where to start Because there's nothing more I can say Nothing good can come from this I know, I know that it's true Ever since I was kid I feel myself, oh I'm falling, I'm falling And there's nothing good can come from this The words we speak whenever we meet I used to be so close Now we're only tantrums and we 
it how People tell me that everything happens for a reason I don't believe them things fell apart Deep within my heart And now at the end I don't know where to start Because there's nothing more I can say Uh, now, the Boo Boo song. Ah, so, yeah, the, uh, the, this is another uh, uh, loathing song, but it was sort of inspired by a... Um, we were having a rough time at a bar that night, and, uh, you know, you, you can't always express yourself directly, so we try to do it indirectly through music sometimes, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, was a, it was a good way to do that. It's uh, for people who are sort of cranky and, uh, you know, to try to... I sing it to myself periodically, you know, when something goes wrong, and it, it makes me smile or laugh or, you know, get over it. So that, that's the purpose of the song. Nice. Make a little light of life, right? Yes. Yeah, it's like an Irish uh, um, toast, that sort of thing. Very cool. Very cool. Your world was just so wonderful It was like that from the start You'd never been so happy And then it all fell apart I'm so sad that you had such a bad time today Never fear, I'm here to wipe those tears away to hell, much to your surprise and great dismay, there's one possible hope that might help you cope with fate's most unbearable curse, there's no need to despair, that life's so unfair, just remember that it could be worse. So the next song we have up is Renoir in a Hatchback. This is actually a true story. In 1990, uh, someone actually went into the Louvre and pulled a Renoir off the wall and left with it. <laughs> 
Uh, and this is a tribute to that famous heist because uh, I got sick of writing love songs and loathing songs. Nice. Did they just walk out the front door? Like, how did? I mean, I want to believe they hopped into a nice like Mazda three and just went right down the the Champs Elysees. But I, I, no one knows for sure. They never actually recovered the painting. It was portrait of a seated woman. All right, cool. That's pretty cool. I never called myself a lover of art But I'd probably say I'm a lover of money And as I'm walking down that river sand I hatched a plan to get rich again And this is my story I walked into the loo the light of day Walked in through that pyramid With a smile on my face No one questions motive When you play along That's why I'm still around To sing you the song Subtle strokes in my pocket And I cut the painting from the brain Since then the art world Would never be the same I walked out of the loop And made my getaway Here in water in a hatchback Down the shop Thank you, guys. Um, so tell us a little bit about, you know, how you got together, how the band formed, where you guys find yourselves in the style. I mean, it's uh, a fairly unique thing nowadays. Yeah, well, uh, a lot of us are uh, also dancers and uh, or have played for dancers. And I, I think there was a, a combination of and also just have been playing music. So it was an overlap of a lot of different interests that uh, we a, a lot of the shows that we play are for dances and uh um, you know, um, I, I think also, um, I, I'll, you know, let the other guys say for themselves though, but we have different musical backgrounds and, uh, you know, that's, uh, was something that was interesting trying to, uh, you know, interpret older music, uh, from different points of view and, uh, you know, um, it's, uh, sort of a learning process and a creative process at the same time. So, uh. Um, you know, a lot of us have been in different bands and we're trying to make that band where we are, I think, most comfortable about trying to express and create the sort of music that we're trying to accomplish. Very cool. So how long have you guys been playing together? Uh, for about uh, nearly three years now, I would say, right? Yeah, actually. Yeah. Um, so we started about three years ago. Uh, I saw Paul playing a previous band at a swing dance down in South Philly. And afterwards, they were playing some DJ music. I was playing piano, and Paul didn't want to put his horn down. So Paul came up to me and started playing clarinet. And about 10 people were dancing to us. Paul came up to me afterwards. We exchanged information. Turns out he lives a uh, five-minute drive from my house. We've been jamming. Uh, we brought Marco over, a friend of Paul's. And we've all knew each other in certain circles. And really, it's that's what Parlement became. And actually, Zach, you want to talk about your banjo? 
Paul tricked me. Um, I didn't intend on, I, I wanted to play with the band, and Paul said, well, here, you should, I'll teach you banjo, and you can play with the band. And then he said, we have a gig in two weeks. Here's a banjo. And uh, I frantically learned it, and when we got to the gig, he said, I'm really surprised you didn't bring your guitar. And I said, I don't play guitar, man. And that's when I knew. He's like, all right, you're in the band now. You made it through this gig, and uh, I've been with them ever since. Very cool, very cool. So uh, give me an idea. Where can we find out where you guys are playing, what's going on, where can we find your music? You know, let me know where to find you guys. ParlorNoirJazz.com, which uh, Adam put together. We have a fabulous uh, website that lists all our gigs, and we're on Facebook and, uh, and uh, various other Internet sites uh, for music. Um, but, um, but, yeah, uh, the uh, um, uh, ParlorNoirJazz.com website has all the info. All right, awesome, awesome. All right, so on to the next song is On My Bicycle. Tell me a little bit about this one. So there's a gigantic bicycle back here. And uh, I um, uh, was asked a few years ago to be uh, a grand marshal in a parade, the um, seersucker uh, parade in, in uh, downtown. And the guy asked me because he knew that essentially that the band would come and play uh, if, if I did that. Uh, and so I wanted to get a really you know unusual bike because I was like, this is never going to happen again. And it's not a, a big parade. But anyway, ultimately I ended up getting one of these high wheel bicycles or it was an excuse to get one. And so I ride it around the city all the time and uh, you know you meet all sorts of interesting people and you get asked ver invariably the same questions over again like, how do you get up there? How do you get off? Is it hard to ride? And so I just wanted to write a song uh, about uh, the um, about the experiences on the bicycle, and it's also the logo on our first uh, CD, which is called Penny Farthings from Heaven. Okay. So, uh, so that's essentially everything that that song is about. Just Good. continual uh, exposure to the city on a gigantic, dangerous bicycle. Well, I have to be repetitive then. Is it hard to get on? Yes, it's uh, it is hard to get on and get off, but once you're up there, it's it's uh, just like riding a, a what they would have called back then a safety bicycle. So the, this is, the, was originally just called a bicycle, and then when the bike that everybody rides now was brought out, they called it a, um, an ordinary bicycle because there were so many of them, and the bicycle that everybody rides now was called a safety bicycle. Very cool. I did not know that. All right. I'll ride downtown high off the ground Spinning my wheel, yes, that's the deal I'm making my way on my bicycle When my path seems to falter Turn away Turn around and go around again Spinning away from where you came The scene keeps changing It's never the same They want to know just how I go Up the rail and around again Hard to ride Until you jump and fall off The fun go high Up in the sky People say hello wherever you go I'm making my way Oh, 
sun up high, turn so shy. People say hello wherever you go. Making my way on my ordinary high wheel bicycle. All right. Well, hey, I want to thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. It's been a great time listening to you guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't dance to it because we're in a small studio. But, you know, afterwards, as we're playing it back, we'll probably dance in the lobby while we're watching tonight. So anything I'm forgetting on the way out you guys might want to mention? Thank you very much for having us. Thank you guys for coming down. Learn to dance. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Well, one of our staff here, Sarah. Sarah. She's a big dancer. So, all right, guys, thank you very much for coming down tonight. Folks at home, thank you again for watching tonight. Remember, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Google Play Store, and Stitcher, wherever you listen to or watch things. We're going to make sure we put it out there. So thank you guys once again. Have a wonderful evening.